Hi, I'm Jessica Lynn. Welcome to my design studio. Today, we're gonna go over some really cute fall decorations for your home. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is kind of a really cute black and white kind of farmhouse look that I've been using now for the past about two years. And every time people come up to our front door with trick-or-treaters and parents that are there, they're like, this is the best looking decorations we have seen in the neighborhood. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. And I'm gonna tell you, one thing that I liked about changing my decor over to this type of a look for my front porch is that it's definitely simple for when I transition into a fall Thanksgiving look. I don't have to do too much because I'm putting up white lights and I'm, I'm putting up things that are just kind of neutral in that direction. There's less that I have to do when I'm setting up for transitioning into the next season. So it's a huge time saver and I'm all about that. This cute tin that has some white mums sitting inside of it was found at Hobby Lobby when I was shopping there with a girlfriend and I just fell in love with it. I was like, this is adorable. And they had two different sizes or possibly, I think it was three different sizes at the time, but I knew that the medium size that they had was about perfect for my kind of small little entry front porch. And I just kind of put some other cute little pumpkins, white pumpkins next to it to kind of decorate for the season. This is a really cute chalkboard that I made. I'm going to show you in another tutorial how to make this homemade chalkboard and how to write on it so that you can use it and switch it up for different seasons. Here's another picture of the same chalkboard, just I had done it up the year previously with a different chalk design on it to go with fall. And this chalkboard normally hangs actually adjacent to my bench um, perfectly across next to the front door of the home so it just kind of all ties together and looks really nice this wreath has gone through some transition phases over the years it actually didn't look like this to start with it used to have like these plastic apples on it and some other like I don't know colors that I didn't want to go with and especially when I transition into this kind of a black and white look I wanted the wreath to have a more neutral look to it to go on my po porch but I also didn't want to go out and buy a new one I searched for two years looking at all of the local shops between home goods Ross TJ Maxx um, even going to like Fred Meyers, just wherever I could find a cute wreath. And I just didn't find anything that I totally fell in love with. And I knew that the one I had at my house was about the right size and it still had some good elements to it. So I took scissors and just attacked it and then put a new bow on it. And I think I'll show you in another tutorial how to make that, how to take a wreath that you already have and turn it into something that will still work with your home decor. This pumpkin and spice and everything nice pillow was found from Amazon. I found this pillowcase cover and I just took another pillow from inside my house that I place outside for the holidays and put this cute little cover on it. The checkered black and white pillowcase covers were also found on Amazon. I believe they sell them in a two pack or even a four pack. And I picked up some of those. And then the cute little throw blanket that you see behind them, that was such a cheap little deal. It was found at Carhartt store when we were getting some construction uh, gear for my husband to wear and and it was like five dollars they had them rolled up they had a whole bin of these cute little black and white checkered throws and we picked one up and I put it on my porch as a decoration and it's kind of there most of the year I wash it every once in a while just to make sure it's not gross from being outside but I love having a little blanket on the porch it just makes the bench look softer we're going to talk about this cute farm fresh pumpkin sign that is black and white that I have sitting on a little table next to our bench. I handmade this sign and I'm going to show you right now kind of what I did to do this really, really quick. First off, this is technically um, a little board that I found that says stars and stripes and it was um, clearance table at Target 
just like a couple years ago. So I bought them and I put them out for the 4th of July. Now the back side you can see here is just kind of plain. Well, I took one of the back sides and I printed up this piece of paper. I Mod Podge the paper onto the back of the board here. Afterwards, I noticed that I couldn't see the letters very well, so I went ahead and traced it with a Sharpie, with a black Sharpie so I could see the letters better. And then I kind of did the outside edges too with the Sharpie, just a little bit to kind of give it kind of a black and white look when it sits there. One more thing that I wanted to mention is that I go ahead and I cut out a piece of paper that fits exactly on to the sign and I cover up whichever side is not that you know holiday at the time so right now I'm covering up the back side which is the 4th of July technically I think that's the front side but that way it's ready to go and I can just set it out and you won't actually see stars and stripes on the other side of it if you are you know if it's however it's sitting on my table if you're walking up the walkway you won't notice it or if it's the other direction you won't notice it Another thing to talk about is adding lighting to your walkway. Now our front porch walkway has a couple of steps and I always think about lighting it up for the holidays. And you know, I put out things that can actually be out during the season, even if it's raining outside. But when it comes to possibly the day of Halloween and you wanna spice it up a little bit more, here's an option. I'm gonna show you right here how to decorate this up. Now, if you're looking at these cute little light up pumpkins and you're going, hey, where did she get those? How come she hasn't talked about that yet? That's because I can't remember where I got them. But I'm gonna tell you, I was at Hobby Lobby just about two weeks ago, so this year, 2020, and I saw some pumpkins extremely similar to these that are twig and they have lights on them. So maybe you could check out Hobby Lobby and you might be in luck to find pumpkins that will be similar to this. Lastly, I'm gonna talk about a yard sign that you could put out this year. I know it's an unfortunate year, but our family, we have three kids and we're probably just not gonna be participating in trick-or-treating this year. I designed up these really cute yard signs and they are available on my Etsy store. It's actually an instant download image that fits perfectly on the standard size 18 by 24 yard sign. There's six different designs total for these yard signs that you can choose from. And when you find the one that fits your style the best and will go nicely with your home, I suggest getting it. And the best place to upload it and have it printed and the place that I used was actually Office Depot. I'm not sponsored or affiliated with Office Depot, but I used them because they offered same day pickup. So I ordered it online through Office Depot. I just uploaded the image and was able to pick up all of my signs that same day. And I have to tell you, as I was staging these signs outside to take photos, I had multiple neighbors that were walking their dogs and just out and about. And they were like, those are so adorable. What a good idea to put out this holiday season. I agree. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like home improvement, DIY, interior design, remodeling, crafting, any of these things sound fun or interesting to you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. And also I'll put a link down below to my Etsy store where you can get printables that I'm putting up for this holiday season. Thanks for watching.